As the title states, the Start Here module should be the first module that students visit at the start of your course. This is where students will find your contact information, online office hours, the course syllabus, and an icebreaker activity such as an Introduce Yourself forum. Take a moment to be sure your instructor information, picture, and office hours are up to date. Let's take a look at a module. The organization of a module, or module anatomy, is designed with students in mind, presenting the content in a logical progression that maintains a clear learning path. Each module starts with a brief written or video introduction outlining the topics covered within the module, module learning objectives, and a list of tasks for achieving these objectives. Next are the module resources, which are typically presented in a Moodle book. A Moodle book presents content in a series of web pages with a content menu and navigation buttons. Books can feature text, images, links or URLs, and multimedia objects like videos or embedded PDFs. Because of their ability to house all of the relevant course materials needed to prepare and help students progress through the course, books often serve as the instructional hub for the module. Following the module resources are the module activities. Though each activity type may not be featured in your course, there are four commonly used activities we suggest. Lessons, which are branched or interactive activities. Assignments to allow for student file or online text submission. Quizzes for formative or summative assessments. And Q&A or discussion forums, generally used for student-to-student -student engagement activities. The module anatomy is a suggested layout, and there may be variations depending on the nature of the course content. Now that you have seen the module anatomy, let's take a look at how to make the course student ready. First, be sure to check the course syllabus to ensure that the due dates listed for any activities or assignments correspond to the due dates of those activities within each module. If your course features assignments and activities that will be completed in a third-party resource, the due dates for the course activities may appear in individual labels in the module. To update or add the due dates, select the edit icon below the text, then highlight and update the placeholder text. Some placeholder text may appear in red font and will need to be updated to the default font color. To do this, highlight the placeholder or updated text and click the Remove Formatting button in the editing toolbar. This should return the text to the default dark gray color. If you would like to call attention to the due date, set the font to italics. It is not recommended to use boldface or underlining text for emphasis based on accessibility guidelines. When you are finished updating the text, select Save and Return to the Course. Check the updated text to be sure it appears correctly in the module before moving on. If your course features assignments and activities that will be completed in Moodle, you will need to manually update the due dates for each activity. To do this, start by clicking the Edit button under the activity name. Look through the activity settings on the right side of the page until you see the timing or availability settings. You will need to enable the date settings by selecting the Enable checkbox before you will be able to enter a date. To enter the due date, you can either select the calendar icon and choose the date from the Moodle calendar, or you can choose the day, month, year drop menus to set the date manually. You can then use the drop menus to set the time. Note that Moodle uses the 24-hour clock format. The location of the availability and due date settings will vary by the activity type. Once you return to the module, check to make sure the correct date appears under the activity name before continuing. Federal regulations mandate that students must complete a graded academic activity at two points in a course for financial aid disbursement purposes. To meet this regulation, LSU Online requires that students complete a graded assignment by the census date and by the last day of the course to confirm they were in attendance for the entire course duration. When setting deadlines in your LSU Online course, remember to have activities with these specific deadlines in the first and last modules of the course. In Module 1, this can be an assignment, quiz, graded lesson, or a graded discussion forum. 
since the final assessment or final project is recommended to be in Module 6 to allow time for grading, a smaller final activity, such as a forum of reflection, can be assigned and completed by the last day of the course. Students are not able to view your Moodle course until it has been made available by the instructor. It is recommended to make your course available to students one week prior to the first day of the term. To make the course visible to students, enter the course settings through the admin menu or course tools and select Show from the drop-down menu under Visible. You can also control which modules within your course students can see before the first day of class. In other words, you can hide entire modules or individual resources and activities. To hide a module, click on the title of the module you would like to hide from the table of contents and then click the hide icon immediately below the title at the top of the page. This will hide the module from your students. It is recommended to leave the start here and announcements modules visible. Additionally, you can also hide individual resources and activities by clicking on the More icon below the item and clicking Hide. A week prior to the start of the term is also a great time to send a welcome email to your students to let them know that the course is available and provide suggestions on how they can get ready for the start of the term. For example, reading the syllabus or reviewing the required course materials. If you hid parts of your course, be sure to make the modules, resources, and activities visible to your students once you are ready for them to have access. The first day of the term is a chance for students to introduce themselves and connect with their classmates via an Introduce Yourself discussion forum or a similar icebreaker activity. Likewise, it is a great opportunity for you to introduce yourself and begin a dialogue with your students. These activities help establish a positive tone and social climate for your course. Encourage your students to connect with each other by making your own posts in the module forums throughout the course. These engagement opportunities help create a sense of community within the course. This concludes our look at the basic course setup. For more information on the topics covered in this video, visit grok.lsu.edu. If you have any Moodle or technology related questions or would like assistance, please contact the Faculty Technology Center at 225-578-3375, option 2, or ftc at lsu.edu.